Hello, fourth graders. I'm here to show you around your Google Classroom site for math and also your Pearson Realize account. So right here, I'm using Ms. Duhame's class as our example. You may have already seen this, but we have on here our We Will Round You video that we like to use for rounding numbers. And additionally, we have our Pearson Realize account. And if you go up to the About screen up here, you can see I also have added some math games for you to practice your math facts and other skills that we're going to be doing this year. And here we have another link to Pearson Realize, so I'm just going to click this one. All right, and then on here, we are just going to log on to a student account just so we see what it looks like. So make sure your background is the bridge when you log in. And this is going to be the screen that you see. So if you look here, this should be this school year and you should have your class. And there are three different links that we can click in order to get us to the Pearson Realize that we're looking for. The first one is right here. You can click this and it brings you directly to our home screen. And these are the three main places where we're going to find our different um, activities, our lessons, our assignments, and also our grades once we're done. I'm going to go back one second and show you that we also can click right here. This will bring you to the exact same spot. So I'm just going to show you here, if you click programs, what you would see. So once you click programs, you can see that all of the topics for the entire school year are all laid out. And since we're currently in topic three, I'm going to click topic three. On here, you can see every lesson from topic three is here. There are 10 lessons for topic three. And we just did lesson one, so I'm going to click on this one just to show you what's available. So the first thing is your student edition. You can see your exact book right here. It'll open us a new screen. And it'll show you our solvent share that we did the other day. And if we just click to, or well, I like to click this screen here. This is the whiteboard view. It just makes it a little larger. So we can see here, it has your entire page and we can go through and you'll see our lesson, our convince me, our guided practice, our independent practice, and a little more of our independent practice. And finally the homework page. So this is all available to you just through your student account. This is a great thing to look at if you happen to forget your book at school one day. I'm going to go back to our Pearson Realize though. And now I'm going to show you, we also have our solve and share. The visual learning. These are the short little video clips that we sometimes watch in class. You have access to watching them at home as well. You're convinced me. Another look. I've mentioned this to a number of the classes, just so if you get home and you're a little confused about what we did in class, you can click here and this will show you maybe a different way to explain what we were doing. Sometimes just hearing it a second time makes life a little easier for us. So this is another video and it's only a short little video, so it's in a minute and a half. Another thing I wanted to show you is on the home screen here, classes. If I assign homework, what you would do is you would click classes. You can see right here, I have our first homework assignment posted. If we click into it, you will see that it is right here. It will open up and you can start. It has the questions and you can punch in the answer right in the box. And even as we're going, you can check your answer. 
So we have 8 times 40. 32, and then we have the extra zero, so 320. Let's check our answer. Fantastic. All right, so when we are all done with this, oh, we're not done. You can review your answers and submit your work. I'm not going to submit it because we're not done with it. But as soon as we open it, you will see that now it is no longer in the do not started. It is now in the in progress screen. So if you wanted to come back to it, it's still here. As soon as it's finished, it will be in the completed screen and it will show you how you did. On the text and tools side here, you can see you also have the game center. You have your active ebook and the glossary, different math tools. So I'm gonna go back to our other screen, the one we first started at right here, this one. I'm gonna click dash because this is a very important one for us. Sorry for the slow internet here. On dash, this is what you could use if you forgot your book at home, at school and you needed to print out the pages. The other website, the other link says not let you print them, but this one actually does, which is great. So we're currently in volume one, so I'm going to click volume one. And it's going to show us all of the topics. So we are currently, I'm going to go to topic three. So we have all our topics across. And this even shows us all the aspects of topic three. We have the first page that they always show us. We have the review what you know, all the vocabulary word cards, and then also the lesson. I'm going to jump to the lesson because let's just say we did forget our homework. We can click the homework page. And on here, we can see there's a little print button right here. So if we click this, you can print this page out so you can have it. You just make sure you print the front and you print the back. So these are all the different aspects of our Pearson Realize account. I hope this was helpful. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks, guys.